your money, your taxes, and President Trump. The president went to Capitol Hill today to make his case he can only afford to lose two Republican senators on the tax plan. This evening right here, a reality check. Who benefits the most, the middle class, the wealthy, corporations? ABC's Mary Bruce breaks it down. President Trump on Capitol Hill today, an all-out push to rally Republicans around tax reform. Mr. President, can you seal the deal on tax reform? Moments later, it cleared a major hurdle. The Senate Budget Committee signing off on the bill over the shouts of protesters. But outside, Republican senators were surrounded. Protesters outraged over who wins and who loses in this bill. Stealing money for the sick and the poor. Analysts say the wealthy, those earning more than $100,000 a year, would likely see big tax cuts. But more than half of Americans would see their taxes rise within 10 years. By 2027, most Americans earning less than $75,000 a year are projected to pay more. And what do you say to middle class Americans who see these projections and are concerned that their taxes are going to go up? I say that people are lying to them. You think the projections are all wrong? I do. I do. There's also concern about the impact of the bill's provision to eliminate the Obamacare mandate that every American has health insurance. It could cause premiums to skyrocket. Health care is a right, not just for the rich and white. On the flip side, the most recent plan also includes a tax break for owners of private jets and golf courses, even a tax credit for wine producers and a huge tax cut for big corporations. Save health care, no tax cuts for corporations. Republicans insist the benefits will trickle down and ultimately help the middle class. Listen, listen, go away. But these protesters aren't buying it. If this bill works the way I think, all these loud people will have proven to be loud and I will have proven to be right. If it doesn't do what I think it will do, then we will lose. So let's get to Mary Bruce live with us tonight. And Mary, the Senate could now vote on this bill as soon as Thursday. Where does the math stand at this hour? David, the Senate is heading towards a vote, but this is far from a done deal. Senate Republicans can only afford to lose two votes, and tonight, by our count, at least 10 have serious concerns. But many of them tell us they were encouraged today by their discussion with the president. David. Mary Bruce tonight. Mary, thanks.